What is up, Market Watch goers? Mkul40 here. So, I finally have managed to proxy together a nice little fun spiral deck, and the deck is actually a lot of fun. I'm actually kind of surprised how much I'm having fun. I'm just messing around with the journal concepts for this. Magician Souls is going to be a lot of fun. Also, I'm going to be in Chicago next weekend for the regionals. So if any of you guys want to come say hi to Mkul40, I will be there, of course. I'm looking forward to just kind of having a nice, fun, relaxing weekend with everybody. And well, that's all I've got for this. Let's dig on into the thing we all know and love called Market Watch, shall we? D432, Tracking Dragon. We've now broken every possible boundary with this card. We are $22. Some of these actually sold at $15, by the way. Whew. Give it up, everybody. If you listened, you've been following the memes on this channel. You got rewarded. Master of 4.5. Whew. $7, $8. But really, $22. I, I can't even. Even Enforcers became a good set. Man, these were 35s a couple of days ago. And I purposely didn't talk about it. Um, because it was in between market watches. But man, Invocations, $15, by the way. Macabre, 17 Man, I guess Infusion Enforcers is good now. Instant Fusions, 4 bucks per Catrillo's on up there. I never thought I'd see the day, once again, that this set just goes terminal. Alright, well, Swap Frogs still think they're 92 to German, German, and German. These are the only ones on the market, by the way. English copies are 120 I mean, someday, someday I'll, I'll, I'll get this market, and I'll, I will I can just understand, but hey, foreign copies are looking cheap, uh, English copies not so cheap. Alright, Marion Cess cards, alright cool, so we're still 175 for those Anamones, man these tank down to 12 bucks, this card was $20, alright, Blue Tangs, 750 um, yeah, that's it. Man, this, this deck just, it fell off a mountain somewhere and just silently died. Hey, Fluffle Bears, we're still $15 for some reason. Someday I'll also understand. Like, I know there's, I, I know that Fluffles get to do what Fluffles want to do, and I expect Fluffles to be a very good deck post Master Roll Revision. But man, that's a lot of money. I actually have not looked at this. This is something I didn't have pulled up for this. Ten bucks. Uh, wow. Shonen Jump versions actually here. Yeah, twenty bucks. All right, cool. Uh, Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. Um, something that we check on every blue moon. Four to five bucks. Hmm. <sighs> Man, yawn time. I guess. Yeah, seven bucks. Yeah. Like Hanzo, ladies and gentlemen. It's gotta be worth something. Are we are we really still Somebody still thinks this card is coming back. We're up to three ninety five excuse me, we're up to three hundred and one dollars shipped. I still don't think that this is coming back. Like I, I get where people are coming from with this. I think it's too good to be true, ladies and gentlemen. Like, don't get bamboozled for the expensive. Ooh. Wow. We're back up to four. Who bought back out Kitchen Dragon Maid? Guys, come on. This card was nothing. And we're back up to $44. Why? Amatarion's still holding. We're still at $23 for Nurse. The Stupid Generator Boss Monster is $14 now. Adion is $4. Boss Stage is still a $4 card and creeping up. Why is this deck actually doing so? Why, why is everything doing stuff here? Like, are we that? Is the fusion monster that good that players are actually actively investing in Dragon Maids? That would, I would love to have the answer to that because I don't. Uh, it's kind of crazy to me. Uh, Condemned Witch, this card's still a dollar. I don't even think a new Master Rule or anything good can actually help this card. This card's just, it's a sad day for it. Oh, look, Dugress the Timeless. Yeah, kind of had a feeling that this card would start going up in price. 
This is one of the best combo extenders in the game. If you guys have been, you know, paying attention to your little stock market for cheap Yu-Gi-Oh cards, here you are. Solid five bucks. All right, drag. Oh, blah blah blah. We're at a uh, whole four dollars on this guy for number ninety-seven. All right. The Soldier of Chaos. Now to the one person that's like, oh, we're not going to make Soldier of Chaos in the new format. Yes, you will. This card is still incredibly broken. Being able to make a boss monster that has protection is why this card is worth as much as it is. Even in today's metagaming, players don't seem to understand that. Like, They're like, oh man, links are worthless. I can't believe... People like this actually exist. And it's disheartening. Oh, by the way, there's a Dragon Maid Mad on here. 175, by the way. 250 regularly. You can get them cheaper on eBay. But that's the t-shirt player market. Deep Sea Divas, near mints. $38, $39 shipped. It's not glorious. It's something. Uh, Dual Sagas, 4 bucks. That's a yikes for me. Um, but Olshay stuff. Shock Lala modes, still 32s. Tiara Misu, 17s on on them. And this buyout, by the way. So, I get where the hype comes from the new Master Roll, for people that are expecting this deck to be explosively good, you know, you can work around and navigate better comboing. I get it. But, one reprint of anything in this section, and it is game straight over for your value in this. Like, I get you think it's from that old era. One reprint, and it's all over. So, good luck on your investments. The Bahamut Shark buyout, this is still holding, and this is this is disheartening. 24s on regular copies. 30s on the first editions. Ugh. Still regular 5 bucks on the premium golds. Okay, I, I get it. Ultimites, Zulkin still holding at 25s. $5 on the supers. No surprise there. Uh, Cosmic Blazars, still holding at a solid 350 on these. Acceptable. Uh, shooting Quasar Dragons, we're still holding an 11 on these, but they are disappearing. Um, you've only got six listings available at this point. So someday if you come on and you haven't bought up your copies of this, yeah, I I, I think it's, it's getting pretty bad. Shooting Risers, Ultras are still holding the $5 mark. I'm still expecting these to start disappearing as well over time. Yeah, also Star Beast, cool, 20 bucks for the Supers. Secrets, 12 bucks. Commons are $7. Yay, Gallus Buyout! My favorite! Uh, Ancient Gear Golem, still $400. Ancient Gear Fusion, still $57. Why is nobody talking about the fact that this deck just got way better underneath the Master Roll? Like, because it did. Quick Draw Synchrons, also bought out. Yeah, I should have sold this one coming. $30 on regular copies of this. And then we got Ultimate Tunings. These things are $50, by the way. It's, uh, once again, these things were $13. Players were like, eh, $12 is too much. I can't afford that this week. And then they're $50 the next week. They're like, no, I definitely can't afford that bling. Whew. Charcoal and Pachi. Oh, boy. I get a nice little meme. Nice little refresher here. Uh, yeah, $25. Bucks. No, thank you. Uh, Miracle Fusions. Oh, boy. Let me guess. These went straight up through the roof. Light play for 50 Yeah, that hasn't changed. Uh, $250. No, thank you. Gamma Seals. Dollars, dollars, five dollars, dollars. Yeah, nothing's changed back here for the little seed urchin. Ultimate Invocations are still $45. I don't understand why these haven't gone up any more than they actually have. If the secrets are reviving themselves in value, these should be way more, but they're just not. Trents, oh boy. The first edition Trentions. Alright, so we're just going to click this near mint, and we're going to go. Uh, 51 cents plus 230 shipping there, I guess. Alright, I don't... Stupid meme. Uh, Into the Void, still 18 bucks. Still 21s. Ugh. No thank you. Tyrant Neptunes. I'm so glad to see that people are still buying this card out. This card's not getting unbanned. It's $179, by the way, for that thing. And it's banned. Spiral cards. Ooh. 
Double Helix is still 875. This deck isn't dead. I'm just saying. Quick Fix, still three bucks. This deck is still very functional. Um, Master Plan is at 30 cents. All right. King of the Skull Servants is at a whole $73, by the way, for the Ultras. $14 for the Speed Duel ones. By the way, those look very nice. D Barriers, still five bucks for the Megatons. Uh, regular Inovs, I expect these will eventually rise more to the occasion, or at 15 at the moment for these. This card will see a lot of play under the new format. Dragoons, still coming in at 88, or excuse me, $85 shipped. Uh, 24 is on regular marksmans. Degustor Emeralds coming in about 20 for light play. All right. Not much change for the rest of them. Firewall Dragon still 4 bucks. Ooh, they're going to unban Firewall. Can't wait for that. Formula Synchrons. Ooh, still 550. 5 bucks. Dollars on the commons. <laughs> I don't foresee this card. This card has too many printings to like start moving. Glow Bulb still $58. If you're expecting this card to get away next ban list, unscathed. Whew, I don't I don't foresee it, man. Uh, eight bucks on Beatrice. Alright. Uh, twenty on Laplace and Ragnarok five, six bucks. Swirl Slime's three forty and Lamia's three. Well the good news here is uh, we've got buyouts circulating. Because people are like, oh DDDs. I don't know, I guess they're going up, finally. Psychic Kappa, fifty cents, Kappa Kappa. Totally awesome is totally twenty dollars on all copies, actually. Glad to see that synchronized. Um, Royal Omega Packs. OTSs are 7 bucks. Phantom Darknesses. Dual Dev Super Polys are fives. All right. Phantasmates. Um, we're still sitting about 70 bucks. The Great Crash of Phantasmates. Still doing all right. Simone the Poison Wind. Of course, Black Wings had to get bought out. 20 bucks on these things. I think it's literally probably. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh. Is that the. Kizaru is 15, still. Norton is at 40 cents. Parasite Paranoid here for Speed Duels is a $70 card. Now back to this. Photon Orbitals are straight bought out. Okay. That's interesting. Didn't expect that to happen. The Boo Eyes, man, these are 20 bucks. Ugh. Wow. I'm shocked that Simone and Orbital are gone. Man, this mar today's market is nuts. Like between like everything, it's just moving. Like what? All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Well, I'm out. Peace. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Card Fight Vanguard, Vancol Forty is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.